Hello everyone, welcome back to Crazy IGCSE. So today we'll be learning how to solve past papers on circle theorems. Welcome back to Crazy IGCSE. For those who are new to my channel, this channel is based on IGCSE Biology, Physics, Maths, English as Second Language, Business, Economics and Accounting. Please subscribe to my channel and comment down below your queries, suggestions and complaints. Today I'll be solving past papers so that you guys can get an idea of how to solve uh, circle theorem questions in an IGCSE past paper format. At first you can f you may find it hard because uh, circle theorem is based on angles and it's not easy. You'll have to think properly for it and you'll have to know the circle theorems. And for that you need to click on the card above to access the video based on the circle theorems. Once you keep practicing the past paper questions for circle theorems, you'll get the hang of it and you will be really confident at solving these questions. So this is the first question. A, B, C and D tie on a circle center O. Angle A, D, C is equal to 108. Work out the obtuse angle A, O, C. So now they're saying that A, D, C is 108. That means this is 108. And you will have to find the obtuse angle which is A, O, C. Which means this part. So now to find that you need to apply the circle theorems. So first we'll find the reflex part of it. So for that you know that uh, the angle at the center is double. So 108 into 2 you will get a value of 216. So 216 will be the reflex part but you will have to find the other angle you'll have to find this one over here and you know the full circle is 360 so we'll just have to 360 minus 216 so when we do 360 minus 216 we get a value of 144 degrees so your answer to this question is 144 degrees i'll just erase this so you can see the questions uh, question properly I hope this question is clear. This is the second question. Here P, Q, R and S lie on a circle center O. The T, the T, P and T, Q are tangents to the circle. So this is T, P. This is one tangent and this is T, Q, the second tangent. P, R is a diameter and the angle P, S, Q is equal to 64 degrees. So as you can see PR over here it is a diameter and the angle PSQ is 64 degrees. So this part is 64 degrees. Now they are asking us to work out the value of W and X. So we will have to find the value of W and then X. Now if you go to C uh, this is one shape and uh, in this you can find the um, I'm sorry. In this, you can find the center angle, which is X. So for finding X, you'll have to do 64 into 2. I'll just write it on this part. So you have to do 64 into 2 and you'll get um, 128. So 128 will be your x value because this is always double than the angle at the circumference. Then you will have to find the w part. Now if you go to C, this angle over here um, is a 90 degree. It is a 90 degree and you already have the 64 value. So all you have to do is you just have to do 90 minus 64. So you will get 26 as your answer. So angle W is 26 degrees and angle X is 128 degrees. Now this is the other question. A, B, C and D lie on the circle center O. A, 
B, C and then D. Find the value of X and the value of Y. Now we have to find this X value and Y value. So for attempting this, all you'll have to do is, um, so if you go to see, this is one angle, sorry, this is one uh, shape and it is having the center part as 110 which means the angle at the circumference would be half of it so 110 divided by 2 you will get 55 so 55 will be x so x is equal to 55 and then you will have to find y now if you go to see this whole shape is a cyclic quadrilateral which means the points are touching the circumference all four points are touching the circumference that's why it's called a cyclic quadrilateral and whenever the points touch the surface now you know that x is 55 degrees so you can easily find y because um, Op the opposite angle in a quadrilateral uh, in a cyclic quadrilateral will add up to 180 so we'll have to do 180 minus 55 and we get 125 so 125 is your y value so in this shape we have angle A, P, B, A, P, B, and P is 56 degrees. Then we have A, B, P, and Q, which lie on the circle, and the center point is O. Now we have to find the value of X and the value of Y. Now let's see. So if you see, this is our first shape. And in this shape, we have this part x and we have the angle at the circumference. Now, if you remember the circle theorem, the angle at the circumference is half of the angle in the center. So, all we have to do is we have to do 56 into 2, which is 112. So, x is equal to 112 degrees. Now, we let's search for y. Let's find the answer for y. So, y now if you see the shape of y is like this so this is the shape and if you if you remember the uh, the theorem of angle in the same segment is equal now when you draw an arc here you go up here so this is one point at the circumference then you come back second point at the circumference that means um this angle at 56 is equal to the angle y that means y will be equal to 56 degrees if you don't understand these theorems you can always comment down also you can check out my previous video which is based on the circle theorems uh, concept and the rules of each uh, circle theorem so then that way you will be able to solve the past papers much uh, e uh, easier and quickly Thank you for watching Crazy IGCSE and please subscribe to my channel and like my video. For more videos like this on solving past papers of subjects, please comment down. Thank you for watching Crazy IGCSE.